Good morning guys and welcome to today's video where I'm looking at the AQA assessment 2021 guys. So this is like um, a bank of questions that have been released on the AQA website and it was released on the 19th of April 2021. There is also a similar one for the Edexcel and OCR and, and I'm going to try and go through e each of those sections here for the assessment material. For those of you that are sitting your mini tests um, this month or next month or in June or July. Right guys, so this video is aimed at the higher tier, looking at algebra and it's the AQA spec. It's also appropriate for edX on OCR higher tier students as well. Right guys, this video was filmed on the 25th of April 2021. Right guys, so I've got five questions here actually and these are all from like old exam papers from I think the November 2018, June 2018 and like yeah and other uh, exam questions. As always, uh, feel free to obviously pause the video, have a go at the questions and then I'll talk through the examples. Okay, if you've got any questions or any queries yet at any point of this video, then put it in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe guys if you can actually yeah, and drop the video a like and also press the bell icon so you don't miss out on further uploads. Okay, we, we, we are on way here to, to, to a thousand subscribers now so my target is to try and reach that as soon as possible right guys so question five actually okay so it's the first question uh, on this sheet solve five brackets x plus three brackets close less than 60 well expanding the brackets so i'm going to do five times x which is five x five times plus three which is plus 15 5x plus 15 is less than 60. The opposite of adding 15 is to minus 15. So minus 15, minus 15. 5x is less than 45. 5x means 5 times x. So the opposite is divide by 5. So x is less than 45 divided by 5, which is 9. So x is less than 9 for that one. Question 10. 5, 8, 14, 23. So it says write down the next term. Well, 5 at 3 is 8. 8 at 6 is 14. 14 at 9 is 23. So you can see that we're adding 3, adding 6, adding 9. So we've got to add 12 now because we're adding like 3 uh, 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 on top actually here for each term. 23 plus 12 is 35, guys. Question number five, four brackets, three X minus two brackets closed equals two X minus five. Well, four times three X is 12 X. Four times minus two is minus eight. 12 X minus eight equals two X minus five. Minus two X on both sides. I get 10 X, 12 X minus two X is 10 X. 10 X minus eight is equal to minus five. Two X minus two X just goes to zero. So 10x minus 8 equals minus 5. Add 8 to both sides. I get 10x equals 3. Divide by 10, I get x is 3 tenths. Question 26, guys. Expand and simplify this yeah, bracket here, actually. x minus 4 and 2x plus 3y all squared. Well, all squared means that I'm going to do 2x plus 3y times 2x plus 3y. Okay, so... What I've done is expand this bracket first and simplify it and then times it by x minus 4. So when I expand this bracket, I get 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. 2x times 3y, which is plus 6xy. 3y times 2x is 6xy. And then 3y times 3y is 9y squared, which simplifies to 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. I'm times that by x minus 4. And I've put the uh, workings here for this question, guys. So expanding those two brackets, I get 4x cubed plus 12x squared y plus 9xy squared. Okay, for that one, and then minus 4 times 4x squared is minus 16x squared. Minus 4 times 12xy is minus 48xy. And then minus 4 times 9, um, y squared is minus 36, y squared. So your answer is 4x cubed plus 12x squared, y plus 9x, y squared, minus 16x squared, minus 48x, y, minus 36, y squared. And that can't be simplified any further because there are no like terms um, for that one, guys. So that is my answer for that one. And then lastly, question number two. So we've got to find the midpoint of PQ. So circle the midpoint of PQ. To work out the midpoint, we would add the X coordinates and then half it, add the Y coordinates and then half it. So four add minus two is going to be two. Two divided by two is one. Nine add one 
is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I'd circle the coordinates 1, 5. So that's the midpoint of PQ. So that is my answer for that one, guys. So I hope it made sense, guys. Yeah, if you've got any questions, any queries, you put it in the comment section. Um, I, I've, 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 I've not covered uh, every single question actually, for this exam. Um, for this PDF, but it's a total of possible 33 marks. Okay, so feel free to ever. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm I'm gonna put a link in the description, um, for that. So I've 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 managed to cover like a few of the questions. Okay, um, I'm 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 also gonna do one here for uh, edX on OCR as well. Okay, so keep keep your eyes peeled. Actually, if you've got any questions, any queries, ever. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, happy Sunday. Bye for now.